My name is Matt Chinoski, I'm 32 years of age and based in Sydney, Australia. I've been surfing since I've been uh, about seven years old, but I think like most Australians or most people who grow up in ocean cultures that we kind of just start hanging around the beach and getting salt water in our ankles and sand in our feet when we're a toddler. Majority of the time on the east coast of Australia, the waves are two feet and under and I've never had a bad summer and always picking up a longboard when it's small, I just couldn't go back and I actually really do enjoy the glide. Once you connect you know, a longer rail with the speed of a wave, it is quite an addicting feeling. The best surfer in the water is the one that's the most connected. And I think that's a combination of you know, your cultural background, but also the boards you're riding, the headspace you're in, and the waves you're surfing. And combining all of that is a really fulfilling perspective and something that I always strive to achieve and I don't think you'll ever achieve it. You're always trying to find that higher state of connection and that's sort of what I live by and that's sort of what I try and pass on to that next generation as well. Surfboards I ride are pretty vast and always changing, but something that does remain the same is the depth and the philosophy behind each board. Each board has to go fast and it has a purpose. I do like testing new boards, but there's a lot that goes into each decision and most of my boards are made by Bob and Ben McTavish at McTavish Surfboards. Hey, John. Bobby. How are you, pal? John and I bumped into each other at Noosa Festival, what, 15 years ago? Yep. I walked in and saw this guy and went bump chest and went, McTavish! <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Bob! Because <laughs> he looked like me so much. What Bob's passed down stems from that 1960s Brookvale influence that inspires me so heavily. Combination of roll bottoms, uh, V bottoms, and the evolution of soft rails to hard edges, and primarily power surfing everything from two to 10 feet and the way to approach that and seeking endless progression, that's a constant discussion we always have and we're always trying to find that perfect surfboard. And from a friendship, mentor level, but also a surfer shaper, Bob's been an incredible influence on me and my own surfing style because at the end of the day, we're a product of our environment and um, you know, I can't try and surf like somebody who's six foot six because I'm certainly not. And Bob's a similar stature to me. So there's definitely a lot of uh, surfing attributes that I think I can uh, attest to. So I've got something to show you. This is the Tron fin. Yep. It's a combo of uh, all the fins that Wiz used to make and the old boards, the Keos and the cords. Yep. A um, little bit of the red line influence. Looking real good. First thing I do is I go for the flex. It's nice. Yep. Yeah. With that nose concave and that channel, it'll track. Yep. Step back, smash it back into the bowl, come back around and then stab the section a couple of paces forward, locks in, and we've got a nose rudder turn. This type of fin, rather than a pivot fin, this yep. type of fin will give me that option to play in the bowl yep. or sit high and tight in the nose. With the large quiver of surfboards that I have, something that never changes is the constant source of fins. And having a, a non-variable to test boards is really important. So having the fin that we've designed and come up with is a neutral template that I can ride in a variety of different surfboards, but most importantly in two to three foot longboard waves. But that fin has been ridden in everything up to 10 feet waves in my glider down to one foot waves. And it's something that I can chuck in any of my longboards, V bottoms, roll bottoms, or boards with edge. And I know that I can actually test the board without worrying too much about the, the fin flex or the idiosyncrasies because it's a nice all round fin. It's a 55 year old 
proven template. Yep. And with enough concave taper in here to give it lovely flex. It goes fine and then just swells right there. It's beautiful. My father's a panel beater and car restorer and that connection from the past has influenced my surfing as well. Always looking back to go forward and I find a great deal of satisfaction in reviving old cars. Similar to my surfing perspective, restoring the old cars, we strip them right back and we try and get super connected to the, to the root of the issue. There's a reason why we need to restore it, so we've got to find out why it's rusting or why it's got damage. Uh, so we strip it right back to the bare metal and we build the car from the, the bottom up and restoring all the metal, body off the chassis and depending on the customer's perspective we'll take this thing back to a custom modification or we'll do a full restoration and it's all about communication and connecting, it's very similar to the way I approach my surfing. me is uh, chasing really good waves, um, getting barreled, finding perfect point breaks and always experimenting with surfboards and fins. It's a full evolution, everything in my quiver is built with complete purpose Bob. And the, the fin that we've just done, single fins, You've done quads, a good job. 20s, thrusters from uh, 1 to 10 feet and bigger. You bet, mate. Two to 20? This will go to 20. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, man.